Oh, welcome back. I'm going to have another go at this. I'm just going to pop my phone back in the stand. The internet here this afternoon is playing not great games. Damn you, technology. Kasha, can you see me? And it doesn't mean pop your head Don't Don't pop your head around the corner. All right, let me have a quick look. Ah, here we go. I think I'm back again. Has it frozen on me? No. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Hello, Marilyn. Can you see me now? Kasha can't see me. Am I moving? Is everything moving or are you freezing? If it comes to... Yeah, I'm in. I'm here. I'm good. Oh, about three o'clock in the afternoon here in this neighbourhood... We have established that the kids get home from school and they get gaming and it slows our internet down. That's my theory anyway. So, anyway. All right. Welcome back. NatalieMay.com.au. We've got some very great things happening this weekend, today and this weekend with the online show, with the Black Friday special, with all the things happening. So I felt, thought that I would give you a free little mini class, making some cards, keeping it simple, going for super, super basic. Stencils, today only. Paper, today only. And Lindy's, today only. Third, oh my gosh, I can't speak now. 15% off. So for today only. Christmas, Vicky Bouchon, collage paper, Specials, scrap effects specials, clearance specials. We've got all of the specials plus our no judgment postage option, which is eleven ninety five for postage for your first order. Then we will put all the orders together and you can select no judgment on your second order, third order and fourth order or whatever you like. But postage is not free. Postage is not two dollars. Postage is eleven ninety five. And you can build over the weekend. So that is what we are doing. Now, something else I haven't mentioned that we're doing, which is really, really fun, is an exclusive deal with All and Create. They have a, an exclusive stamp that they have released. And all you have to do is spend $79 on All and Create products and you'll get a free stamp. And you will get... A free stamp. How super cute. I love this. If you spend $129, you will get two stamps. And if you spend $175, you will get three free stamps. These are exclusive. You cannot buy these stamps. And they are very, very awesome. Just saying. Kasha, you're way, I'm way ahead of you. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to make some pretty backgrounds using the Lindy's Magicals, which you can see here. And then I'm going to use some All and Create products to do some simple embellishing. Let's get started. Lindy's Gang Magical Shakers. This is the latest release, the new 12 colours, which are simply gorgeous. I have got a puppy training pad back in the background here to catch the excess water. I have got a water spray bottle with some very fancy Adelaide water in it. And I have got my colours lined up here. I have cut some 6x4 pieces of card. These are called my card fronts. And I am just going to do a really simple sprinkle and spritz technique to create something really, really pretty. Okay, have a scone heather. This is what this one here is called. So these are the new little shakers. They have, whoops, that's made a mess, but that's my fault. Okay, they have got a shaker top, as you can see. That's because I didn't put the lid back on properly. That's a me thing, not a you thing. Um, They've got these really cool little shaker tops and you can just do a sprinkle onto your page. You can also pop the lid right off and get right in there with a spoon if you feel the need. 
So what I thought I might do is just sprinkle it on, as you saw me do a moment ago, and then pop your lid back on, guys. So this is the new tea and crumpet set. You can grab them as a set, or you can get them as an individual for $7.95. So what I want to do here, the pigment dye-based powder that is in all of these little containers, the pigment means it's full of colour. The dye means it has an awesome permanency to it. It's dyeing the paper. And then the powder means that we need to activate it to get the magic to happen. So as you can see, I am now spritzing and activating this powder. Now, I'm not overdoing it. I'm not adding in any extra colours. But you can see here that there is some beautiful colours happening. So I'm just going to... Add another purple over the top. And there we go. And I need to activate it every time. I'm just going to do a little zoom up. Did that work? It'll teach me for doing it without looking. There we go. All right. Happy days. So I'm just going to let that. I'm going to run it to the edge with my finger. So I want to cover the whole card. There we go. And I'm going to put that down on the floor next to me to dry. And I'm going to whip up another one. So here we go. Let's go with Butter the Bread Blue. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So no matter what, you have to activate the powder to get the pigment to activate. So I can put two colours on at a time. I'm just going to spray. Then I'm going to add a green. Now... The cool thing here is that you can mix these colours together and they are going to look stunning. I have got, I'm sticking with colours that I know, colours that are alongside each other on the colour wheel. So I know that they're going to mix up really, really nicely. And that is perfect. I'm going to pop that aside. Next colour. Let's go for Cheerio Cherry. Hello, ladies. Hello, Wendy. Hey there, Chris. Okay, sprinkling it on just like that. And I'm going to activate. Moving those colours around. This time I'm going to add this lovely little really pale, beautiful lemony colour. And I'm going to activate. So you can see that I'm spraying it every time to activate it. Now, I can also use a paintbrush. I've just got a wet paintbrush here and I can spread it around if I wanted to. But I really like the idea of just letting that sit. Loving it. Quick production line, really great way to make cards. Cards, or you can do this in a, you can do this on any surface, and that's what I love. This colour is called Spill the Tea Teal. I mean, come on, look at that. How stunning. More water, and I'm just going to do one colour on here, and I'm going to really saturate this, and then I'm going to use my paintbrush to move it around. So the more you activate, the more water you add, the more the pigments come together, and the more you get this punchy, rich colour. Okay? Stunning. And you move it around, and you get all of this awesomeness coming out. Let's do another one. Darcy in denim. So Shell just commented saying that she loves these to do backgrounds for her artist trading cards. I love that. Love it, love it, love it. So Darcy in denim. I'm going to mix this with a little Pemberley Pride purple. So I can mix these colours together because I know that these colours go together really nicely next to each other on the colour wheel. Alright, so the colours are a lot more intense. 
But something you may notice is if I don't activate all of the colour, it can get a little bit grainy. So I like to make sure that I'm moving it around. I can tip some off, let it run off. And it's working a treat. So in the previous couple of videos today, I have used them in different ways. I've used them to colour images with. I've used the Lindy's to do some really different things with. I've splattered, I've painted, I've done all sorts of bits and pieces. This colour is called Pass the Jam Jane. Beautiful. Pushing that colour down into that corner, picking it up, tilting it this way. Bless you, Louise. All right. Do a couple more. Pumping through these nice and quickly because I've got an idea and it's going to work. It's going to look great. Yeah, and I can't get you right. So Marilyn's just commented saying if I tipped it onto a, another background, I could make some more paper. Absolutely. I'm too lazy to do, to do that today, so I'm just going to do it this way. So I'm going to take this one here. See how it's a bit blotchy? I'm going to blend that together now with a paintbrush. And then I'm going to add some past the jam Jane. So good. So good. So this works on lots and lots of different surfaces. Um, the, the different water, different papers will react differently. I, of course, am not using watercolour paper here. So it's kind of soaking in and reacting a little differently, which is great. Really good. And I'll do some, here we go, Dunker, Dunker Biscuit Blue Green. And a thumbprint on the side for good measure. Do -do, a little bit more. So good. So Lindy's Gang have been around for over 25 years. They are one of the original companies to do this fabulous product that will enable you to do this gorgeous sprinkle and spritz technique. This is not a watercolour powder and this is really, really important. This is a dye-based powder. So what that means is if you are wearing a white T-shirt and you bend over the table and dip your boobs in it, it's a permanent addition to your boobs. Really, really important to note that. If I want to add another colour over the top of this, I can do that. I can build a colour, so I'm going to add some blue on here now. Um, So it's a really, really unique product. They also come in a spray as well. Lindy's, these are designed to do this, this perfect, perfect technique. Really, really fun. I would not recommend putting them into a water spray bottle because they don't, they, they clog up. They have a binder in them that binds the, the pigment to the nozzle of your spray bottle. So Lindy's also do a spray as well. Oh, look at that. This is the sage. So when all the pigments are separate, they have got all of these really cool colours in them. So when you spray it and you don't mix them together, this is what it looks like. Oh, very cool. I'm just going to let that one sit. And I'll do one more. And then I'm going to dry these backgrounds and create some cards, some quick and simple cards. Now this is Crumpet Crumbs. Crumpet Crumbs. 
photo paper. Yeah, any sort of surface works beautifully. You just need to remember to activate the powder. Okay, nothing is going to happen if you don't activate the powder. Very, very important step. So mixing it together, you can see that there's some yellow in there. Very, very pretty. Okay, so, and, and I've made a nice little mess here. I'm going to uh, pick them all up off the floor next to me one by one and hit them with the heat gun and show you how good they look as we, uh, as we go through and dry them. Now, something I also like to do, and it helps speed up the drying process, is I get some paper towel and roll off any wet spots over the top. Uh, heat tool. And then dry it off. And it won't take long to dry. I've taken off the puddles. So these little clumps that you might see on here, these will probably brush off when it's dry. And the, these little shakers have all got a shimmer to them. They have got a mica. So they have got a beautiful little, this one's got a silver shimmer to it. This one's got like a blue green shimmer to it. Now, you don't have to roll off the colour. It's just because I'm doing this on Facebook and I decided to, uh, it'll speed up the drying process by taking off some of those puddles. I also like to hold up my paper to dry it because then the heat goes all the way through the fibres of the paper and it speeds up the drying process a lot quicker. Oh, guess who dribbled the blue? Damn it. But that's okay. So for those of you just tuning in, welcome, welcome. I'm having a little bit of a play with some Lindy's Gang Magicals, making some quick and easy card fronts ready to get stuck straight onto cards. So today on nataliemay.com.au, uh, we have 15% off of Lindy's products, which is this product that I'm using here today. And I just want to show you how easy they are to use. Anybody can use them at any sort of school. The trick is just to be confident, get it on there and have a go. Speeding up the drying process there. Unfortunately, watching paint dry is not the most exciting part of the job. But they don't take long to dry. Oh, look at that dog hair. That 
that's always nice. Maybe not. Alrighty, nearly there. So you can see that each and every one of these has dried up looking different. As soon as we take that water off and you get this really, really interesting background, um, and then all the Lindy's just look amazing when you do this sprinkling spritz. If you play it smart and choose a couple of colours that go together really nicely, they will look stunning. If you choose colours that are opposite on the colour, on the colour wheel, of course, such as you know, an orange and a green, I would never mix those two together because they're just going to make a fantastic shade of brown, which is not as visually pleasing as what uh, we would like it to be. So let's have a bit of a look here, just as I'm giving these one last dry. Very pretty. And it's also left the mark on there of the paper towel, which is kind of cool. And they all have a shimmer. They've all got a very, very pretty shimmer to them as well. This is one where I accidentally dobbed some glue on it. So how many of you here have worked with Lindy's before? Give us a little thumbs up in the on the bottom there if you if you've worked with Lindsay Lindy's and you love using Lindy's products. I would love to see if uh, if I've got some new people here who have never used it. Oh, there's a couple of you. Oh, fantastic. So you're all very familiar with it. Excellent. All right. I think that's enough heat gun. I'm having a hot flush here now. Right, look at that. 15 minutes and I've managed to whip up a whole heap of card fronts ready to go. Look at that. So let's have a look at some of these colours that we've got. Can you see the shimmer on that one? I certainly can. This purple has, is, is very pretty with a beautiful purple shimmer. Stop it. Uh, this is nice, even with my blue blotch on it, it's got a shimmer. The peach. So we've made some gorgeous, gorgeous cards here. Now what? Now what do we do? Well, we make a clean spot. We push all of these off to the side. Just bear with me just a jiffy. And I'm going to fold up my puppy training pad. So next time you pop past Kmart, Highly recommend investing in a puppy training pad. You can see what's happened here. It's soaked up all of that water. Okay, so then it hasn't gone through to my tablecloth. Very handy tip, something I've been using for classes for many, many years. Not that it matters, going by my tablecloth. All right, let's talk about something else that's exciting. These guys. These are the Almond Create die cuts. These are so much fun. Let's have a look and see what you've got. So these are fabulous. So we've got a packet of 45 butterflies and uh, can we just have a moment to see how big and colourful they are. Stunning. The These ones here are called admirals and these are all a, a brown black they're not black, they're, they're like a, I don't know what colour that is, but they're not black. I know, my words are not happening. They're not black, they're like a dark, dark, dark brown. So you can colour these to be anything that you like. I think the clock, the clocks are my favourite. So this one is called TikTok. You get 60 clock embellishments in here at numerous sizes. It also comes with coloured clocks. And my personal favourite, set your timer, 60 pieces 
of vintage ready to go clocks. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. There's so many new butterflies. So this is called Colour in Flight. Like, look how bright those colours are. Very pretty. Oh, they're nice. Aerial Beauties. Tw uh, 63 butterflies in this pack. We've got here Mosaic Feelers. These ones are a little bit cute. Now these are purples and blues and greens and limes and pinks. And these are a little bit cutie sort of color, uh, kit like images, not as, but they're a little bit more butterfly-like. They're a little bit more animated. Okay, so they are called Mosaic Feelers. Packet of 113. We've got some different ones in here. Oh, I've already done those, Aerial Beauties. Oh, Colour and Flight. Oh, see, I was keen and got two lots of the same one. All right, then we have got the Christmas ones. Now, these are super cute. These are called Frosty Friends. Now, even though here in Australia, we tend to not celebrate the frosty part of Christmas as much, can we just have a moment for how cute and quirky some of these images in the back are? So really, really cute for putting on Christmas cards, making all sorts of bits and pieces. And then we have got these two, which could be my favourite, Outline Florals and Floral Confetti, number 24 and number 25. 35 pieces in this one, 24 pieces in this one. This is just white flowers, and I think I'm going to use this one today. This is the colour version of this one here, and I might have a bit of a play with those as well. Very cute. And my top pick from All and Create are Dream Drops. Are you ready? Can we have a second for this? Like, so cute. So I'm going to open these packs. Let's open them. Let's have a look. So these are good for, for cards, for, you know, anything. What I do need, Kasha, is a piece of 12 by 12 white card stock. Did I put the pile back somewhere, maybe in your orifice? Oh, that means oh, not orifice, office. It's not quite the word I meant. So we have got some little rainbows, borders, different borders. We've got a couple of each cut. We've got some big flowers. We've got some puffer dogs. I've used these again and again and again and again. These are so nice. I did have a pile. I had a whole pile of 12 by 12 cardstock. It's okay. I'll come up with plan B. Yep, yeah, got it covered. Thank you. I want to put them on white, so then if I lay them out, they're easy to look at. I do this when I have a packet of embellishments, so I can see here. So I can create these super, super easy borders. Fun backgrounds. I love these. I can separate them into groups of flowers and florals and and whatnot. But they're the best for making cards out of all the borders I put together, all the flowers, and then I pop them all into a Ziploc bag. Um, I love that. I've got little baby flowers, rainbows, pets. Right. So that one is called Dream Drops. Very underestimated little pack of embellishments, right? Then this one here is called the Outline Florals. Now, if you're wanting to... Oh, hang on. There we go. If you're wanting to create one of these beautiful big bright backgrounds like we've just done, putting a black and white image on them will help it pop. And then you can colour these as well. So here's all of our images ready to go. 
or die cut with a black border. Love that. I'm going to add that to a pile. And then I'm going to open number, I might not use them, but I'll open them and show you. Number 25. And this one, oh, these are pretty. There's a lot of purple in there. Right, so how do we use them? So we take a background and you can stamp onto the background. So if I was to stamp on my background, um, I have a simple stamp here with just some words on it. Do I have an ink pad? No. No, I do. Black archival ink. <coughs> Keeping it very, very loose and then I would take a black pen and draw a border. I have a range of sentiments here as well. So we will make a card from start to finish from, and they will all have exactly the same concept. They will all have a stamp in the background and then a black border. I will then go through and find some flowers, so perhaps something like that, with a little bit of that, and perhaps a little bit of that, or that one, keeping it simple, and then I'll, in a moment I will put my sentiment on. So I'm just going to pop that aside to dry. Next one, exactly the same. So production line, but keeping it super simple. Boom, 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 boom and boom and boom. Black pen all the way, scribbly. So I'm only gonna make five here, otherwise we're gonna be here until midnight watching me draw black borders and stamp. And nobody needs to see that. So these colours would work, but this time let's go with the black and white. You can go there with a little there with a little there and I can pop a sentiment across there so I'm just going to pop that in a pile. So I've done a pink, I've done a green, let's do a purple. Oh and I forgot to stamp. Boom. Boom. And it doesn't matter what the stamping st says, it's just more about having a little bit of interest in the background. The stamp that I'm using here is my Won't Let You Down stamp from Natalie May Scrapbooking. So this time I'm going to go with these lovely bright borders and I'm going to go straight on in with a rainbow with some flower. Pink flower, purple flower, pink flower. Louise, I believe there's somebody at the door. I'm coming. Sure. And a puppy dog. Quick card. Tick. One, two, three. And let's go super light. Again, let's go stampy.
And you can see that I'm not re-inking every time so that we get a, a nice shadowed effect. Lost my pen. So this is not super fancy card. If you purchase a card, a pack of card and envelopes from nataliemay.com.au, this is the card that you get. It's actually a, uh, a really lovely card. Let's go with this one. Uh, a lot, nice weight card. We'll go purple. Purple. With this one and maybe a bit of this one here, here and here. I'll stick that down in a minute. Let's go nice and bright. Stamping, stamping. Wrong end of the pen. Small technicality. Um, so the the whole idea here is to take, I mean, these packs of embellishments from All and Create are so jam packed for value. You could get a ton of embellishments out of these to. For, for any sort of occasion. Uh, you can do male cards, you've got female cards, we've got, uh, you know, the clocks would be amazing as well. I'm gonna go down there, I'm trying to find something like that, something like that. Um, in fact, I've got a dog, no, I don't want a dog. I might pop another rainbow on in the middle. Uh, so you can continue to build. So one, two, three, four, five. And I'll do one more with the white flowers. Um, and I'll do this one because this one is really quite bold and dark. And then I'll go through and stick all our elements down. And I can trim these edges off as well. Um, my cards tend to be a little, my card fronts tend to be a little odd shaped. And that would be cutting them in a hurry before filming. But definitely a really good tip is to lay them all out on a piece of card so that you can see what you've got in front of you. You can't really create confidently if you've got piles and piles of embellishments around the place that you can't actually see what you're working with. That does not reek of confidence. All right, let's put all of this together. So to put them together, I have a packet of the Couture Creations, I think $3.85 foam dots. So I'm gonna go straight in and everything's gonna have a foam dot underneath it because I like some I like some height behind them. Um, I've got my knife, my craft knife that I use and that is just so that I can pick up off of here. And I'm gonna start at the top on this one and build my way down. Peel that off, covering up the stem of the flower. And I've laid it all out. I've got a bit of an idea where I want it to go. So it's gonna to come together quite easily, I'd like to think. The big one.
Right, now we need to add a, a sentiment of some description here. And it needs to sit here. You can see that there's a gap there. So at Natalie May Scrapbooking, we have got numerous cuttable sheets for you, ready to go for you to put straight onto your cards. These retail for $4.50 each. They come on a beautiful heavyweight cardstock. We have got the pretty birthday sentiments here. We have got Oh Snap, which is nice and young, good teenager sentiments. We have got some friendship quotes, things that you would give to your girls. There's some sweary things coming as well, ladies. So if you are offended, look away. Cheeky birthday sentiments. Um, some very funny yet quite rude yet quite funny sentiments on here. We have got blokey birthday sentiments and questionable friendship quotes. So I'm going to go here with, I'm going to open the, or crack into the friendship quotes and I'm going to go straight in here and I'm going to Just cut into them. Kasha, yeah. I opened, oh, now I've lost it. No, I, I opened Floral Confetti number 25. So because I have got a black border around, I've got black everywhere else here, I'm going to pop a black border around my sentiment. So for a low, a low cost for of a four dollars fifty per cuttable, as we like to call them, because that's exactly what you do with them. They are just cuttable. I'm gonna stick that there. Right. Quick and instant card number one. Card number two. I'm gonna start with sticking down my rainbow. So I hope I'm not making these look hard. I hope they're supposed to be quick, they're supposed to be easy. Create your, your colourful background first and then start building from there. So I've got my rainbow, it's going to sit here. We're going to go straight in now with some flowers. Uh, what did I have? Um, pink, pink, um, pink. Pink, purple, pink, blue, pink, blue, blue. That one goes in the middle. That one goes there. Right up the top. Oh, take the stick, take the, take the peel off, bit off the back. Can recommend. I'm leaving a gap for my quote to go in here. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to cut out this one that says, Some miracles are just good people with kind hearts. Oh, yeah, they are. Now, this time I'm going to be a little bit clever and actually draw my lines before I cut it up completely so that I'm not fluffing around with it. So we are continually striving to bring you new products here that you can that are practical and easy for you to use as well. So the cuttables are we've got some limited edition ones like our Halloween ones and the artist trading card ones that we bought out for the month of November, they will be finishing off soon um, and not going out for printing again. Uh, so snap those up. Uh, Radio, let's have another look here at what we've got going on. Um, 
I might go with a big sentiment on this one. You, I mean, most people would probably use a paper trimmer to do this bit, but um, I don't even know where my paper trimmer is. Let's be honest. Be around people that are good for your soul, just like we did on the weekend. And what I like about doing a border around it is if you cut it crooked like I did, you can do little zigzaggy things on it and little bits and pieces, little loopy bits. Right, that's going to go there. And this time, yeah, let's go in here. This is a lovely big flower. Actually, let's cut it in half. Look at that. I did it without thinking about it and I probably shouldn't have, but you know. Let's commit. So over on nataliemay.com.au for the rest of the weekend, you can get 15% off of Christmas and you can also get 15% off of, where's my list? Christmas and Vicky Bouchon products. You can get 15% off of, that's pretty good. I might have that there. Put that down there. 15% uh, off of Vicky Booten, 15% off of Christmas. Today you can get 15% off of Lindy's, which is the product that we use to get that colour on. We have got, let's just take that off. We have got lots and lots of amazing things on special this week as part of Black Friday. We've also just released the class for uh, Natalie May Scrapbooking for Art Journaling for 2024. So the card, the name of the word card, so this, is, this one is called Friendship Quotes. So on the website, if you look under the heading of Natalie May and then look under our product called Cuttables. Oh, that's blue. Um, the Cuttables, that's where you'll find our friendship quotes and our cheeky quotes as well, which is kind of cool. Um, you'll find all sorts uh, there at the low price of four fifty dollars each. Cutting it in, so that's pretty good. I could probably go with another green one in there, but I'm just going to sit on that for a moment and think about it. Wrong pile. Let's go with the puppy dog one. I do like the puppy dogs. Right. Um, so they are something that's you know that we do that we are super proud of, and something that we do here in house that we love. Um, we've got a fantastic team here thinking and creating all of the time, as you know. And dun, 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 puppy dog in the middle. Dun, dun, dun. I might not even put a, oh yeah, I am going to put a sentiment on this one. Uh, purple flower goes there. Pink flower, random bit of weird paint. Um, so yes, we we do those. So when you go to the checkout today and you add something to your cart, if you wouldn't mind just taking a moment to ensure that you pay eleven ninety five for your flat rate postage, and if you haven't, uh, if you have already placed an order with me over the last twenty four hours, you can pay two dollars for postage to be added for your postage to, to be added to another order but that is only if you are adding not on your first order it is second order only to add that to your shipping um so that louise can pick and pack on collate but 11.95 is our flat rate shipping all right i'm going to pop this guy on i don't really know where i haven't thought about that um, all right, nearly an hour. <gasps> okay. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. 
that's got a sweary word on it. Look away if you don't like sweary things. I'm going to do another sweary one. I like to put things into my projects that other companies aren't doing. So that's why you will quite often find sweary things, <laughs> sweary items uh, in our catalogue that we do. Uh, we are very much a full transparency, tell it how it is business. You guys know that. You know that I absolutely love this industry and treat, you know, I, I full transparency, don't really have anything to hide. Um, <laughs> so consequently, we like to create things that make us happy and sometimes swearing makes us happy. Swearing makes a lot of people happy and sometimes swearing, it can be very, very appropriate. Now, that being said, sometimes it's very handy to have a stamp with some swear words, some collage paper, or some sentiments on your cards which say certain things. This is one of those times. I'm not going to read it out, but that about sums it up quite nicely. Okay, done. And then the last one. off that sheet. You're amazing. Remember that. Keeping it simple. Oh, I think I need a drink of water. So yes, there's also one that I need to say that says, I know I'm not for everybody, but maybe I'll do that next. Look at these dots everywhere, the confetti party of foam dot circles. Radio, last card, bam, bam, bam. And don't forget, I don't know if any of you saw advertised anywhere, one lucky order today is going to receive <laughs> a, a gift pack in their order. So someone's going to receive a lucky gift pack in their order. And I randomly added one to one of yesterday's orders. And I will do the same thing, completely and totally random. So I hope that uh, you might be that lucky customer. All right, last one. Let's just whack these babies on. <laughs> Swearing is therapeutic. Yes, it very much can be, Susan. I agree with you wholeheartedly. It is the lovely Susan Bellamy. Are you eating her biscuits? They're absolutely amazing. Did you hear that? I can't do that oh, no, we're still eating your biscuits. I'm surprised there's any left. All right. Okay, there we go. I have whipped up. That's not the lid to that, but it is for today. I have whipped up some cards. I have shown you how to use the All and Create die cut pieces. <laughs> Phone's ringing again. Um, the die cut pieces, they are fabulous to use. These black and white ones, of course, you can colour these. So what did we do? We used the Lindy's Gang Magical Shakers in our background to create this sprinkle and spritz technique that anybody can do. It's so easy. We let them dry. I added a little stamping to the background, which you can see some here. We do a black border around the edge, and then there's three packets of All and Create ephemera that I've used, die cuts, and we've just popped them on the front. So we've got number one here. Number two. Sweary. Number three. Also sweary. This one here, 
Number four is using slightly different. I think it needs another flower here, or maybe a butterfly might be nice. We've got rainbows here. That's gorgeous. I love that one. And then the flowers. So when you're having a bit of a look around at online, stop and have a look and go, oh, what are these things all about? This is what they're all about here. So easy to use, can enhance any project. Um, here are some of the other backgrounds that I used, uh, I created earlier, and they took no time at all. Really, really very, very simple. So anybody can do it. So jump online to nataliemay.com.au. We have got a, oh, where's my list? We have got 15% off of stencils for today, 15% off of patterned paper, and 15% off of Lindy's for today only. These three things here will not be on special tomorrow, okay? Uh, we have got Christmas products. So Christmas stamps, Christmas ephemera, Christmas stencils, Christmas paper, stickers, dyes, anything Christmas based except for kits are 15% off. Vicky Bouton collection. So all the Vicky Bouton collections with the exception of the current release, they're all discounted. Uh, some of the Natalie May scrapbooking collage papers are from our ex extensive catalogue of collage papers. They are also discounted. And Scrap Effects is 30% off with some mystery bundles as well. So our no judgment postage is $11.95 for your first order. And then all additional orders after your first order are only $2 for us to collate them all together. Because there's no judgment. We'll just pop it all together and make it happen for you. But the initial postage is $11.95. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. It's time for me to go home and have a very large glass of wine. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and I look forward to chatting with you tomorrow. See ya.